All right, what's going on YouTube? We are back with another video and today's gonna be a good one. Um, thank you guys, everybody who came to this video and who just coming to the channel, just supporting everything. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, for real. But anyways, let's get to the point of this whole video. So you guys clicked onto this because you guys are trying to figure out about the whole brand new um, Sony's back button attachment. Now, I just went ahead and picked this up today. This is a super sick thing. I'm super excited for this. So I just looked a little bit. They have a couple little ads on Instagram. Maybe if you haven't seen them, maybe I'll put a little picture or something right here. Just their Instagram so you guys can see um, what Sony posted about this. I'm super excited. So right now, currently, um, on my controller, I'm using the... Uh, what is it called the mod freaks control pack you guys can go ahead and see that video it's either going to be floating up on the screen right here in annotation or somewhere over here but i'm gonna make sure i put it up in the video so you guys can go see my review of uh strike pack fps so currently i use this right now pretty much the whole point of what this does is i go ahead and i get these i got these little paddles that i can use onto my controller this thing helps me out with a whole lot of things um, and all types of games so it's something super helpful and something I think everybody can use couple little things about this it does feel a little weird it is kind of awkward you have to move your fingers a whole lot down um, I don't know it's kind of a weird feeling when you're pressing it like this I've gotten used to it though it's not the worst thing in the world you do have this whole kind of like side flap right here so that you can go ahead and press that only kind of little complaints I can say about it is that you always need to have it wired, which is not a big deal. At the end of the day, it is kind of annoying always having a cable attached. So that's the reason why I'm super excited about this. So inside of here, you actually don't need to have any wire attached. And the whole pad design for a button, it's like the whole pad itself. It doesn't go ahead and separate it and make it um something different it's all one thing so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like inside and we're gonna check this thing out so you got to be a little important read first you know all those things we don't need that got the box like that so the whole pad and button is right here you can actually see you have so much more to actually press there's a little bit right here where it goes ahead and it's actually separated so that you know the buttons. And uh, just for comparison, let's see what the whole thing looks like against the strike pack. So this is everything that you have on your controller on the strike pack and this is what you're going to have attached with this. This is not going to have any cable. You're going to have all of this normally and a cable. And besides that, if you wanted to have any other buttons attached to your controller, your only other option would be with to get a, a scuff controller and that runs you about two hundred dollars and it's not really that practical so something like this is gonna uh, come in a whole lot easier you can actually find this cheaper than this one and this is wired this is made by playstation this isn't a uh, knockoff brand or anything you know I'm not trying to throw no smoke towards the fps this thing that has helped me out a whole lot but i'm super excited and without further ado let's see what it looks like you actually get it so you attach it to the front part on your controller right here see it's kind of weird actually how you slip this on it's a weird little kind of like you have to first kind of get the auxiliary part put in and then you kind of like tilt it it's like a little slide press in but just like that we're on as you guys can see right here it's got put this off real quick you guys should be able to see that this right here is actually lighting up. So if you see, if you look right here on the screen, you can go ahead and see they have a couple different uh, button modes that you can go ahead and switch this out to. Currently on the first one, it says P1 and it's programmed to X and circle, but they have a couple different modes where if you double click it, you'll see it, it'll go ahead and cycle through a couple different modes. I think that's triangle and square. So if that helps you out in a couple different games, you can use it for that. And then it goes ahead and I think these are the analog buttons. I don't know why you would want to do that, but that is the option too. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in this first mode. I think that's really cool that you can go ahead and switch it like that on the fly super quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and test this thing out. Like I said, I'm super excited. Let's actually give this a shot. Let's go turn over to the game. I'm going to show you guys, see if I can get a win with this. But yeah, shout out to this thing. As you guys can see, 
This is a super cool little attachment to go ahead and uh, get to your PlayStation. They're actually making it only for like $24.96. So I'll make sure I put a couple links down in the description where you can go ahead and pick one of these up. I actually picked the, mine's up at Walmart. So I know they have some there. They only have a few left at my store. Um, but definitely go ahead and try to pick up one while you can. This thing is sick. I can't wait to go ahead and try it out. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming for another video. This is going to be a quick little short review. Um, I got a ton more little products that we're going to be adding to the channel for reviews. So just stay tuned for everything I got coming. And yeah, thanks you guys for watching. Peace.